Hi everyone, today we're going to put together this kit which converts heat to electrical energy. Now the instructions are in Chinese, or I believe it's Chinese, but I think we can work it out just from the pictures. So let's have a look at what's included with the kit. We've got a motor with a fan blade, so let's pop that blade on there. Then we've got a Peltier module here with a heatsink connected. Now typically these Peltier devices, if you apply electricity, one side gets hot and one side gets cold. But on the flip side, you can apply heat to one side or make the other side cold and it will generate electricity. So I assume we're gonna be using something like a flame or hot water. I actually don't know exactly how this kit works. Then we've got two pieces of heat shrink tubing. We've got a double-sided sticky pad. Uh, what else do we have? We've got a bunch of wooden blocks and what I assume is wood glue. And then we've got a little plastic thing here which looks like it will hold the fan motor. And then lastly we've got this metal tin which I assume we're going to put hot water or a candle in or something like that. So it looks like part one is to take all the parts out and lay them on the table. And part two is to solder the wires between the motor and the Peltier module. So we'll do that now. So the motor is now soldered to the Peltier. It was a little bit tricky because the wires coming off the motor are very thin and fragile um, and they weren't very easy to solder. But anyway, we got it done. So let's pull over the heat shrink tubing and then shrink that down. And there you go, it's shrunk down and that keeps our connection from shooting out against each other. Although it doesn't shrink very well because, like I said, this wire coming off the fan is so thin anyway. But yeah, I guess it will kind of do the job. So the next step is to glue these little blocks onto the bottom of this bigger block to make a platform. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so you can see it's all blocked up with glue, so it's not a good start. Anyway, let's just squeeze it straight from the tube. I guess this is really meant more for kids than adults, but eh, we can have some fun doing it anyway. And the next step is, it looks like this goes here, then we have a block here to act as a, an end stop something like that and then this block will go here uh, this will sit on top something like that I guess maybe it should actually be like oh I guess it doesn't really make too much difference maybe like this something like that anyway and then the instructions show the next part is to put the motor inside this little holder which will then go on top of here now I assume that's what this sticky pad is for to stick that in place It's a tight fit, but it went on there, so let's use this double-sided tape to connect it to the top of the podium. This definitely feels like a very, very cheap kit. Um, I don't think it was that cheap. I think it was... I, I don't remember what the price was. I'll overlay it on the screen, but it wasn't that cheap considering all you're getting really is a Peltier module, a heat sink, a little motor, and then, you know, some scraps of wood. Um, but yeah, I guess they're charging a lot because it's a kit. Now you could probably cut these wires shorter, but I'm just going to leave them long for now in case I decide to do a different project with this. And this is where things get a little bit confusing for me. It shows that the tin sits on top, and then... I'm not sure, do we add hot water into here, and then cold water into here, so that it helps keep it cool? I guess that must be it. Let's try that. So I've got two mugs here, this one has cold water, this one has very hot water. So let's start by putting the cold water in this bottom section. And then put the Peltier module in there. Then we'll sit this tin on top. And we'll put the hot water in there. Ouchie, ouchie, that's hot. Okay, then put the lid on. Ah, look at that! The motor started. And it's going pretty darn fast. Hmm, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, it's catching on the wire. There we go. Let's move that. Oops. Yeah, that's not too bad. It's kind of cool, I guess. I think this will be a lot more interesting for like young kids than adults. It's got yeah a bit of force to it. Not too much, but it's okay. Um, yeah, I mean, it's all right, I guess. So it's been about seven minutes and it's starting to slow down. It is still spinning, but yeah, it's definitely slowing down. Now, for anyone who's curious about how this works, let me explain. Um, this tub is still really hot, so let me get something to move that with. So if you look at this little white module here, this is a Peltier. And basically it can either generate heat and cold 
or you can use it to generate electricity and it works on a temperature differential so you need to make sure one side is hot and one side is cold or specifically the difference in temperature between the two sides will dictate how much electricity it generates plus its size etc so even though this tin is still super hot this water here, the cold water, is starting to warm up because the heat is going through and this is just isn't able to keep it cold enough on the other side. So as the temperature starts to equalize, the fan slows down because it's generating less electricity. It's a fun little project for kids, but for me it's kind of boring. So give me, I don't know, let's say 15 minutes and I'll try and come back using the same equipment but with something a little bit more exciting. So here's my new version, I haven't tested it yet. I got this container here filled up with cold water and the heat sink dunked into it. And then in here I've got some flammable liquid. So hopefully we'll be able to heat up the top side and then cool down the bottom side. So let's go ahead and see if this works. Okay, so the flame is on. Let's see if the motor gets moving. Oops, let's move those wires. Yeah, that's a bit more exciting, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know how practical it is, but it's pretty fun. We've got quite a good flame going there. Bit move my camera back a bit, I think. Oh, it's going very, very fast, the fan. We're getting it much higher speeds than earlier, that's for sure. <laughs> Whoa, okay, stop. Whoa, look at the fan go. Ah! So the fan is really going turbo now. Wow, that thing is burning. Whew. I think when we put the fan on it, it kind of <laughs> sent the uh, fire into overdrive. And look, the fan is still going because this um, metal is obviously so hot. Yeah, that was good fun. I like that. Shame we had the wire stuck there. Should have tried and put that behind. So here we go again for round two. And let's feel, yeah, this still feels nice and cold underneath because I did fill it with cold water. Yeah, I think this is how the kit should be. That's much more fun, isn't it? Put some alcohol in here or methylated spirits or something like that. And yeah, really get that fan spinning. So if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.